Hey, it's Matt with Replit here, and I'm gonna show you how you can build and deploy your very own Slack bot in under two minutes. And then afterward, we'll talk a little bit about what Replit is, how things work. Uh, but first I'm gonna show uh, rather than sit here explaining things to you. So we have a Slack app template here. This is available to anyone. Anyone can do this. We're just gonna fork it into our own development environment. I'll call this dev three since I've been doing some work on this lately. Uh, but forking the REPL is pretty much the same as forking something in GitHub. Um, so once we have our template up, just takes a couple seconds, we're gonna pop on over to uh, GitHub, uh, or, sorry, Slack, uh, and create an application. So clicking create new application is gonna let us create a Slack app. Now you're saying, how are you gonna do this under two minutes? It takes a long time to configure a Slack app. Well, we're gonna select from manifests and then I'm gonna select a sandbox workspace. Um, and so in Replit, uh, in, our, um, in our REPL, I have a sample manifest.json file and that's gonna let us uh, get going pretty quick here. So Popping back over to our browser, I'm gonna drop this JSON in, click next. Um, we're presented with the scopes and features that our application needs just to confirm that this is all gonna work. And when I click, click create, it's gonna create the application. It's also gonna show some secrets, so I'm not gonna do that right now, um, but you can do that if you'd like. Uh, and then we'll pick back up after I click create and then select install to workspace on the next page. And we're back. So I click create, I clicked install to workspace, took two seconds and now I'm presented with this page. I'm just gonna click allow. Um, again, this is gonna direct me back to a page that has secrets on it, so we won't show that. But after I'm redirected back to that page, we can assume that I have the secrets necessary to continue. Um, and that's all covered in the read readme for this REPL. Um, so you can pick up there if you'd like to learn more. But we're gonna be right back after we do that. So we're back and you might notice that our secrets are now populated. So I took care of that. You should be able to based on the instructions we provided. Um, but what that means is that our app is installed and everything's configured. So I'm gonna select run, um, which is going to run these 20 lines of code. It's gonna authenticate. And you can see we're defining one function here, which listens for an app mention. Um, and if the app's mentioned, we're gonna say hi there to the user that mentioned the app. So heading on over to Slack, um, I have a channel here and we're gonna mention our app, hello world, right? Uh, so hello world is not in this channel. So we're gonna add them to the channel first um, and then mention the app. And just like that, we've built a Slack bot that works. So that was under a couple minutes. Now let's see if we can deploy this in only uh, 30 seconds more or so. So the cool thing about Replit is that all this code is packaged up. We have our secrets, we have our environment, um, and all we really need to do is deploy. And that is as simple as clicking one button. So we have four types of deployments. This one is best for a reserved VM because it's a bot. So we'll create a background worker and the command to run is that app.py file. So when we deploy it, it's gonna run app.py. And while this is deploying, it's gonna take you know 20 or 30 seconds or so. I wanna mention just how powerful this developer experience is. Uh, because when we're running this app, we can make real time edits and see how they uh, impact our Slack, or Slack workspace and then click deploy to have those actualized in a production environment at the same time, right? So if I didn't wanna say hi, but I wanted to say bonjour, not bonjour there, um, I could save this then run it. So while this is deploying, I'm running the development server. Uh, and if we mention our app again, well, now we get the new value. And so you could see how this might be really powerful for that interactivity element um, that I talked about earlier. So I'm gonna stop this um, and we can take a look at the deployment and see what's going on. You can see we're creating a virtual machine right now to promote uh, this application to. Once that's done, we'll jump back into it. Hey, so we're back. Um, and you can see that only took about another minute. We deployed that two minutes ago, it just wrapped up. So two minute total deployment, maybe a little longer than I said, but uh, what are you gonna do? So um, that's live. You can see we're not running uh, this code. And But if we go on over to Slack and we say hi again, our application responds. And so now it's running on a server. We don't have to worry about you know uh, if it's running or not. Um, and that's it. We just took some pre-configured code forked it, created a new app, plugged in our credentials and deployed it to a production server in a few minutes. Um, and that's why Replit's cool. Uh, so if you're not familiar, Replit's a software development platform that empowers pretty much anyone to create and then also deploy code um, with pretty much zero setup on any device. Uh, and that's the power of it. That's, we just walked through this demo on uh, the Replit IDE in the editor here. Uh, which looks maybe similar to other editors, but this took place entirely in the cloud. Um, and so that's the power of being able to build and deploy in a containerized or a uh, self-contained environment and then deploy uh, immediately 
um, with that environment preserved to a server. Uh, and Replit enables that super quick developer experience, something that I'm really excited about. Um, and that's what I just showcased by being able to change, iterate, and then deploy this application again. And you notice it didn't say bonjour when I typed hello the second time because I deployed an earlier version of the code. But if I click to redeploy here, it would take another two minutes and we'd have that updated deployed version of the code. Um, so this is a super simple demo. I have some exciting stuff coming for you guys later this week and next week um, that'll be a bit more complex. But this is just to get you up and started building on Slack, building with Replit. And anything that you can do in the Slack SDK, you can do in this application. Uh, there are links in the readme to get started. Um, but I think that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, so I'm Matt, uh, and this has been developing a Slack app template with Replit and deploying it in just a couple minutes. Uh, I'm super excited for what we have coming, guys. Um, and I can't wait to share more with you. Peace.